We've run a number of tests during the development cycle of the QSB 6.7 engine. The testing of the engine was done at Cummins Technical Center Charleston, located here in North Charleston, South Carolina. The uh, engine was run in a test cell specifically set up to run endurance testing. The Navy cycle is an endurance test run at Cummins to demonstrate the useful life of the engine. We'll run a 500 hour test which will duplicate 3,000 hours full life service of the engine. At the completion of the test we'll demonstrate that the engine still pulls power and functions normally and we'll tear the engine down and we'll be looking for any abnormal wear that uh, would cause a loss in power of the engine or interruption in service. We look specifically at the main engine components, the power cylinder, cylinder bore, the piston rings, the main bearings, the rod bearings, the fuel system, uh, all the gasketed joints, the valve train and the marine specific cooling components. This particular engine we run 500 hours seven days a week and we would only shut the engine down once a day for service checks. Uh, we would check the oil, uh, periodically check the uh, valve clearances and the overhead, any test cell maintenance that needed to uh, occur. The pistons, we're looking to make sure there's no cracks in the piston bowl for any signs of excessive heat distress under the crown of the piston. Uh, we'd be looking for uh, piston ring wear to make sure that uh, they're not wearing abnormally. When we see a failure, those failures are corrected during the development process through the use of these tests. So the endurance test will identify the weak points of the engine and we're able to use these tests to then um, either fix or redesign the uh, weakest components. The QSB 6.7 marine engine has also made uh, extensive use of composite materials to save weight in instances where we needed to have a uh, corrosion resistant component. So on our heat exchanger and after coolers, both of these now use composite caps and we've also made a composite uh, top tank and eliminated the need for a overflow bucket. All these components undergo the same rigorous testing that we would expect from a uh, previous bronze or aluminum component. This engine ran remarkably well. It, uh, there were many, many days when it ran a full 24 hours without any uh, need to shut the engine down. This test is the final test in our development program. We're very pleased to have run the test uh, through to completion with virtually zero incidents. All of the components would still meet production specs. The engine was within 1% of advertised power at the completion of the test, so would still fulfill all operational criteria.